Hi, this is Eric. I'm going to talk about oral rehydration solution. Uh, this is used mostly um, in people that have uh, gotten dehydrated through a diarrheal type illness, but it can be used in uh, any type of dehydration. Very easy to make. Um, this is what you need. <clears throat> uh, you need a liter of water, uh, which is equivalent to four cups. Uh, that needs to be clean. Um, so if you're already sick and you put in dirty water, that's definitely not going to help you. You need eight teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and if you can add a little potassium, either through orange juice or bananas or something along those lines, it can really help because the uh, sodium-potassium pump that's used to move the water in the intestines needs both sodium and potassium. All right, now that your oral rehydration solution is mixed up, uh, the way you administer it is if it's a large enough child or, or adult, you can just pour it into a cup and they can just drink out of a cup. If it's a small child, what you're going to do is take a spoon and take spoonfuls and give it to the child um, as often as you can. And the goal is to get to a normal urine output. I think that's going to be one of your main indicators to, to say how far have I gone on my rehydration. Now, if you taste this, it's okay. It's not great. It's a little salty, um, but again, easy to make, cheap. Uh, but the key thing is if you're in an area that uh, has disrupted water supplies, you got to make sure that it's clean water. So whether you boil it or uh, however you're going to make it potable, you need to make sure that you do that first uh, and then put this together. If you can't get the potassium, you can't get the uh, orange juice or the bananas, that's okay. Uh, you can do it just with the salt and sugar. But very easy to do. Uh, and this is oral rehydration solution. Thanks. Bye.